and you beginning to you begin to honor your intuitive knowing and there's a distinction between these two elements the voice the intuitive voice versus the voice of the mind so you're tuning in into this one the voice of the mind is analytical oh you shouldn't be going doing this you shouldn't be investing your money in your spiritual uh, on this awareness because this is not a good time and blah 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 and or you shouldn't be going to this retreat or you shouldn't be going on this vacation because it's not a good time to go on a vacation whatever or it's not a good time to go buy a new car or go buy yourself a new dress or treat yourself to a good day of a spa or whatever is going on but your heart is saying i really want to go and spend the day in a spa and nurture myself and your mind says oh no you're gonna have to spend two hundred dollars and you shouldn't be doing this and you should be saving your money but your heart says I really need it I really want it so you start to tune into the heart because it's the language of the soul and it wants to feed the soul by doing things that supports your well-being whether it's physical or emotional or it's your psyche your overall well-being it makes you happy it brings you to the things that cherish your soul and nourish your your being and the other one is talking about saving money and save retirement and blah 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 it all comes from fear and it all is related projected the fear is being projected into the future it has nothing to do with nourishing your soul in here and now and it will continue doing the same thing till you die because it's always been doing that so you're going to this shift from the head to the heart from an intellectual understanding an analytical understanding to simply knowing simply the wisdom the great wisdom you're diving into the great wisdom even though at times that it's not wise to spend your money but something inside you says do it and trust so so you're tuning in you're tuning into this okay you're here are we together yeah now let me give you another example let's say um, for example in the case with our friend Amy she had a paid vacation to she was invited the the plane ticket is paid for her vacation is paid for she goes all the way to the airport to get in a plane to go to new york city and at the gate where she's about to check in something inside tells her no and and she she listens to it because she's really tuned in which maybe a year ago she would have not done it and she would have flown to New York City but this time at the last moment she said no I, I I don't it doesn't feel right and so what happened she turned around she goes home she blows off her ticket and her vacation and then she comes to our retreat for nine days she didn't even know there was a retreat and then she discovers there's a retreat it's a free online global self-awakening retreat and she dives into it and boom she goes to this major transformation life transformation 
all these great ideas come for her. She discovers the silent place and she starts operating from this place. And all of a sudden, her, the quality of her life changes. So, or how many times we have encountered or we've been in situations that you're in a relationship, it's not functioning well, you're comfortable but it's not serving you, you're with a partner who's rude or verbally abusive or physically abusive and then you're really, it's, it's rotten, it's over. But you're afraid to break away. Your heart is telling you, get out, get out, stop it, but you just don't get out of it because it's comfortable. Maybe you have children, maybe financially you feel insecure, but you're hanging in there and your partner keeps beating up in your head. I'm not talking about physically, but they're very abusive. They're rude to you. And we had this. This is a scenario that happens a lot. And even though later on, you may come to me and tell me like, it's been like five years that I knew it's over and I need to get out. And I didn't follow my intuition. I didn't follow my knowing. And I s stuck in there. And I suffered. And then finally you get out of it. But you learn a great valuable lesson and that lesson is to really listen to your heart, listen to your intuition. Does this sound familiar to any of you? Now this is happening, Not, I'm just not saying necessarily it's the relationship, but how many times, for example, you've been overpowered by this figure, your dad? I mean, I had thousands of people come and tell me that, that, yeah, my dad was telling me, you have to do this, you have to do that, you got to marry this person, or you have to go to medical school, but I'm an artist, and I wanted to be painting, or I wanted to be playing music, or I really wanted to do my own thing. But from the fear of my dad, I wouldn't speak up uh, and follow my heart. And years after, then you learn about listening to your intuition and speaking your truth. Or you're working somewhere and you have an abusive boss and they use abusive language or they're bullies and you don't stand up to them and telling them your truth because you're afraid, fear of losing your job or fear of really s standing up to them. There's, you know, from major stuff to very minor things that we don't follow our hearts and we don't listen to our intuition. And as you tune in, it takes tuning in. As you trans go to this transition of the head to the heart, you hear the language of, you tune into the language of the heart you begin to, because again, I said it comes from a different place. Your intuitive knowing, the language of your intuition is coming from a different space than the mind. So the more you tune in, the more the mind becomes quiet. The more you can hear this voice inside you, that comes from knowing, it comes from spiritual knowing, comes from spiritual wisdom.